Hey the berries, welcome to Diamond on EU West playing Lulu support because she got big big buff. And uh playing with Jinx. Jinx also got buffed this patch up against a Kaiser Blitzcrank. So the aim of this laning phase is don't get grabbed by the picks. <laughs> that would be bad. Let's try and show this uh Jonks. Every time Kaiser looks like she's going to come in for some harass. That's a free bit of damage there on the bits crank. I think he wants to try and get some sort of level 2 priority. We should be fine though. Uh, okay. He has Hex Tech Flash still though. So we do need to be a little bit careful about that. But, uh... He slowed there too. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird and desperate. Blitz and Kaiser have had to use their health potions. Minx has had to use hers there though. Yeah, they uh, they buffed picks on Jinx slightly. Jinx on uh, Lulu slightly. I think it's like plus two damage level one per auto attack that gets applied off of uh, picks. They are huge stonks. Wasn't really a massive reason to recall for me. Didn't really get that much. Could have maybe done double. Uh, like, it could have been like one control. I don't know. There's not really anything that I could buy. I could maybe sold a health potion, waited, and got tier one boots, maybe. I don't know. That car office is lost. Their bot lane did not reset. We're missing a blitzcrank. Okay, never mind. He's in the bush. That's not good. Kaiser okay, slowed. Well, yeah. Can't freeze this wave or do anything about that. Uh oh. Well. That was intended. Okay. She was, she want help pushing. It's a minion there. Yeah, it's a shame that Jinx got caught out there. I nearly kind of gave them another kill there, but we did the reversal. Yeah, we'll take boots and we'll do an amplifying time, sure. Speed the junks back into lane. But yeah, that's gonna hurt our laning phase a little bit for sure. Seems like the team's overall is kind of struggling a little bit. Like this Kale is doing fine top early, which is a bit of a worry. But she's CS advantage right now against the Riven. Not sure where Hecarim is right now. Hmm, I'm not sure about that brush. Okay. Just speed up the Jinx, yeah. She can do some damage, yeah. This will have a up shortly. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna bubble- oh, I'm gonna poly him off the Kaiser just to- Dave off some damage there. No, 
Only if they buff Pixis damage a tiny bit more. Not sure what the Blitzcrank was thinking there. Did he flash? Did he have flash back up there? I can't actually tell if that Blitzcrank just flashed or not. I hit him. Didn't get a kill there though. Jinx isn't going to be hitting 6 anytime soon though. Interrupted Blitz's recalls though. About to hit 6. We can get a little bit of money here. Office is doing dragon right now. Enemy killing okay, we're doing alright, Bart. Even though the Jinx is getting caught out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna actually pick up cooldown reduction boots. Want a bit more mobility to try and dodge a Blitzcrank Cook if he does go for me. Um, we managed to even out a little bit down down the bot lane. Kaiser's 300 gold ahead because of the kill, but that's about it at the moment. We did get plates though, so actually gold. I think there's only about 150 gold then in their favor. Kaiser's gonna get some money here though. It's a bit sussy in this area here. I think Blitz cranks around there. Yeah, I was wrong. Well, they used everything on me, and I've watered that, pre watered that brush. She? Oh, it's gonna speed her up again. Okay, cool. Yeah, look, it's nice to add those wards already in the bush. When I recalled. So yeah, they used a lot of me there, and then that meant just, meant that uh, Jinx was just free to do it, anything she wanted there because she didn't have to worry about that hook. This is actually pretty bad. Uh, Calf is the same mana, never mind. Good bait. So Jinx is freezing this, so I should probably just look for a reset here. Nosey, yeah, Kaiser's gonna have to go back. Again, so she just lost a lot of time there on the map. Um, We can just do... We'll do an Ardent first, sure. Whatever. I think after that we'll do... Moonstone make that shield quite big. Although we do need to be careful actually, maybe we don't do that. Primarily because Blitzcrank's ulti deletes shields. So if I do invest in having such a big shield for Jinx and it just gets deleted, then yeah, that won't be great. So maybe we do like Staff of Flowing Water for movement speed reasons. Mangok joined the berry bush. Good morning, Bizzle and Berries. Hey Mangok, thank you very much for the tier 1 sub. Much appreciated for the 47 months of support. Okay. 
wasn't too bad. I thought they might go harder than that, to be honest. Still got a couple of minutes for our plates here. Let's crank, taking some bits of chip damage there. Start maxing W. Just to make sure that steroid on Jinx kicks in. Getting my Q miss there. That was such a big miss there from Blitz though. Um, can I actually turn that around? Okay, use Teal to move her in there a bit quicker. Okay, we've got kind of full control over this lane right now. There's another dragon up too. Carthus wants to do Drake. Okay. I'll have to help with that then. His timing with Jinx will be off if I then recall after this, so I might just have to stay. Yone's being ganked mid. Are you kidding me, dude? Trying to sew this Kaiser. Nice. Okay, that was pretty good. We managed to keep that Yone alive. We aced him at 13 minutes. Okay. Kind of buff the Jinx here and then just reset. The turret plate fell off, but she'll get um, first turret gold. We'll do Arden, and then I was gonna do a Star of Flame Water or something, like, just for more consistent movement speed. Also, you know, might end up buffing up the uh, the carcass a little bit. See how that goes. Take this wave though. It's a lethality jinx. Which is a bit weird because it might not scale that great with me then, considering I'm playing Lulu. More attack speed build based. Hey Clark, can I have one on the Twitch stream? I hope you guys are doing alright. Top. Struggling a little bit. Actually, maybe I need to buy my cows for Annie. Yeah. Like to get someone out of the Annie Sun. She's only 1 4 right now, but all she has to do is, is a good, uh, a good ulti, and it would be quite devastating. We could try and do Herald. Another ace. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But the Annie went for me though. We 
do need to be a little bit careful about overextending. Slow down the Blitzcrank. Then I'm a W. Now I do. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we could rush to Herald and then reset. on his way though. Yeah, this music's loud. GH zero S T M O O N joined the very bush, my avatar. Why do they make the music louder? Oh yeah. Hey ghost, you doing alright? Thank you for the forty four month resub. That's very kind of you, ghost. Hey Zom Z Domino. How am I? I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm just playing some league and I'm gonna be playing some WoW later. Wow. Uh oh. What whoa. Um, it's only 18 minutes into the game. It's like the last, honestly, the last six minutes have been kind of explosive. Just a lot's happened. A lot of turrets have fallen over. Double ace. Kind of biased. Teleport's happening down bot side right now. I mean, if we can kill Kale, maybe we can look at getting to two. Need the Jinx to macro down to bot. The pony. Um, maybe we just kill the turret here. Okay. Buff up the junks. Come on, junks, get in there. How about it? Disappointed. Yeah, it's a shame Jinx wasted the ulti for a snipe. She had it there, she could have probably picked up two or three kills. Yeah. Um, that's not good. Mm. Yeah, it's a free flash, but we're over something quite a bit here now. Slow down the bit crank. Akram slowed considerably. Hmm. We're actually doing Baron them. Yeah, we'll finish up the Michaels and then screw it. We will. Go into the moonstone, it's just too good of an item, even if Blitzcrank deletes the shield and then deletes the shield. I think there's much else Jinx could have done there. Unfortunately, her item build doesn't really warrant like kiting that well. She hasn't got much attack speed, in, even though I'm buffing her up with attack speed. Um, I don't have ulti, if I had ult, I didn't. Jonks, I'm trying to buff ya. We could flash, but it seems a bit extreme. Yeah, 
Do these embers not despawn now? Oh, they do. <laughs> Let's say that. They've been on the ground there for quite a long time. You've taken every neutral objective. We did get the Baron earlier. In case you did miss that. Enemy team does like have a really good late game, but I'm struggling to see how they can make it. I think they were doing okay for the first 12 minutes of the game, and then it just suddenly just went really, really, really bad with them with that double A's. Unless they, if they they somehow need to manage to stall the game for like another 10 minutes. If they manage that, then it gives Kale and the Kaiser a chance. But yeah. I feel like they've done something with the in-game music. Like it feels very abrupt. And loud. Riven's pushing in bot, but we're not really providing any backup anywhere else. Hold on, Jinx. There's a fight happening in the jungle right now. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we're not getting anything else on the map right now. We need to actually rotate to top. of our Baron at all. Okay, well that was quick. Kale's spit pushing right now. They're down to their tier 3s, but they are kind of stalling out the game a little bit. doing now 97 magic damage do you need a little bit more urgency in the map like when Riven's this deep we need to be pushing in are too disjointed with what we're trying to do right now. That Riven. Okay, now Riven's recalling. It's like, well, we, it's for, okay, Riven's now fighting. Now we have to push him in. Go, 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 go. Oh, this girl needs to die, right? How oh, is she not being punished for that? You slowed? I think it's crank Mr. Sook there. But yeah, we should be doing more there. I don't know how the hell Kale is able to just do that for kind of for free. Use my curls to get you only out of the Annie. Double knock up. Papa Salty might get something here. I might be in trouble. Need the, the Jinx to play the game. She can't be that far back. She has to be invested in the fight. She can't do that. <laughs> She's too scared. It was an okay bit flash, but it's going cook. But like the Jinx should be looking to clean that up big time. I don't know why she's been so hesitant. No. Is an infernal dragon soul coming up soon? But yeah, this is what I'm kind of worried about. They're actually successfully stalling the game, and it's going to be difficult for us to win if this carries on.
This ribbon is, uh... One cast. Should be doing Baron. The enemy team should be looking to do Infernal Song. Well, the drag Infernal Dragon, so we don't get Infernal Song. This is Among Us. Okay, so they get the Infernal Drake and they get Baron. What is she doing? The, pro the main problem is that we haven't had Riven. She's got 11 deaths. We haven't had Riven at all for... I want to say the last 3 minutes, but also like maybe the majority of the game. Um, I'll try and pick up a star for flowing water, but yeah, this is actually looking like a loss now. They managed to successfully stall the game, and my team's tilted. And I don't like this Jinx build. I don't know if it's the meta build right now, but playing this kind of build with a Lulu feels weird. Lethality. Play Kel, I guess, really, to be honest. This crank could look at flashing over the wall. Carfus isn't up for yet. The fact that that Jinx isn't barely damaging in the Hecarim is a massive problem. We lost the game. Kale can end. Yeah. That Hecarim didn't really have that much tanky stats either and it was like, well, I pummeled everything there into the Jinx. And um, he didn't do any damage there to Hecarim there, at least initially. Yeah, this is a really frustrating game of League, honestly. Like, but that guy did everything right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. The Riven was making some questionable decisions. It was really weird, though, because like, our team wasn't like doing well early like, as a whole team. I think Jinx had that misplay level 2 when she came back into lane. Got hooked. Um, I was lucky to get a kill on a Blitzcrank and not die to minutes. That was a bit of a misplay onto me, but that ended up getting rewarded. So, yeah. Mid was doing really, really badly. Top was doing not great. Like, Kale was actually ahead in CS very, very early on. Um, then we had that double A swing, and it was just like, wow. Actually, we can actually maybe win this game. And then it was just... We just didn't use the macro properly. Like, I mentioned it in the game. The Riven was deep bot side but if she's going to do that then we also need to have um something else at play on the opposite side of the map because if they hunt her down which they did we need to be taking something else for the riven death and we didn't get anything for that like two or three times so she died for free like two or three times in the bot lane um you know that's what i try to force my team to rotate from mid to tier two because they weren't doing anything so it's you know, i think we did eventually get that tier two um, but yeah, and also that I think there was another time where like Jinx was maybe overextending bot side and then we got Baron off of that. So at least we got like a Baron buff from that, you know what I mean? So that's the kind of thing that I think a lot of top laners are really, even like this ELO, generally pretty bad at. They, they do bad in lane and they go 
Unga Bunga, I go side lane and split push all game rate because they've just tilted and just want to, they just do the side lane stuff. Which can be okay, but as I said, you need to be, if you're going to die, you need to be making sure that your team gets something from it. And as the game goes on, it's very hard to start getting stuff from it. Like, once you've taken all of the tier 2 towers down, which we managed to do, then the only things are that are easy to take if Riven's going to overextend and bot is Baron. Uh, that's it. Because <laughs> going for a tier 3 is, is if, if Riven's going to be at their bot side tier 3, and then if we're going to try and take like top tier 3, the rotational difference for them is so marginal that it's not really a factor. Um, and then, so basically we just would have, then have to wait for Baron to spawn and then let Riven like, overextend the bot side and then fight around the Baron. Um, but yeah, all of that extends the duration of the game. I don't think we had a single team fight that I can recall where Riven was actually there with us. Yeah, I want to say like the one in the jungle, the one where that Blitzcrank hooked me and I had my first death. I can't remember if Riven had already been caught bot side or not. But yeah, that fight was frustrating because Jinx was way too far back. I think she should have got a couple of kills there. I didn't like her ult usage as well. She's like 10-3-2, which looking at it would assume that she had, that's like a decent KDA, but I feel like there was a lot of like like ulti wastage there too. I don't know if this is the meta build either for Jinx. I don't know. It could be. I haven't looked into it. But just playing with Valudu and having my AD carry go like a hyper carry, like a Jinx going lethality. Like, I don't know. Can she not go like Kraken and like on hit stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the meta build is. But it just feels a bit weird when you're boosting someone's attack speed and they're not got attack speed stuff. Feels a bit. Feels a little bit meh. And you kind of saw it there at the end game. Like she did like basically no damage to the Hecarim. And all the Hecarim had was. He had the death stance, and then he has like a bit of Zeke for twenty five armor, but like he's not, he shouldn't be tanky there at all, right? And she was twenty four to fifty, so she had he had plus seventy five armor, um, and then that's negating Jinx's the fallacy completely anyway, because the fallacy is what there that's thirty the fallacy, so she's mitigating like a thirty of the armor, whereas she could just have one item, which would be um, Dominique's, and she that would be mitigating more, and then you'd have another item, attack speed item on top of that, so. Yeah, like late, like late as the game gets into its later stages, like high hyper carry that you'd think like Jinx would be quite good late game ends up not being that great to be honest. So yeah. GG.